Won't somebody think of the children? From the beginning of time, toys have been dangerous. If it's not a Ninja Turtle sword to the eye, it's something toxic quietly slipped into your Easy Bake Oven. Here are a few of the most dangerous toys that you may still have scars from. Thing Maker Remember creepy crawlers? Sure, in the 90s we baked our bugs and guts under a hot light bulb, but the original crawlers were a lot more dangerous. Creepy 1964's Thing Maker, which first introduced the jiggly, bakeable bugs, didn't really care about playing it safe when it came to amateur insect making. First, there wasn't a big plastic scoop to easily slide the bug mold into the oven, but there were small metal tongs, and the original oven wasn't powered by a light bulb. Instead, it was plugged right into the wall, which could make it reach temperatures as hot as an actual oven. Once the bugs were done cooking, you remove the metal molding tray from the metal oven using metal tongs. That's piping hot metal coming at you from all sides, kid. You got bugs? Squiggly, squirty bugs. They feel so soft and natural. When they reinvented the crawlers for 90s kids, they relaunched with an action figure line and an animated series. With Shocker Oak, Squirminator, and Scooby Gooby by my side, I will control the creepy crawlers forever! And in the 90s and beyond, third degree burns just weren't as cool anymore and safer spookiness at light bulb temperatures became all the rage. We had a saying when I grew up, learn with a creepy crawler maker, burn with a creepy crawler maker. Sky Rangers Airplanes RC planes generally carry their own set of risks, and the Sky Rangers Park Flyer RC plane was a pretty standard bearer of head injuries from above, but with one ridiculous twist. The battery pack in the plane's tail had a knack for exploding before or during launch, According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, there were 45 reports of exploding planes, resulting in injuries to the eyes, ears, hands, face, and even chest due to debris flying everywhere. It was basically like flying a Michael Bay movie. Awesome barbecue! Awesome pull! In 2007, Estes Cox, the company behind the Sky Ranger's plane, issued a voluntary recall of over 21,000 planes, but not every Sky Ranger plane was recalled. If it had a warning sticker, it was okay. The plane might still explode, but at least they give you a heads up. Slip and slides. Wild wet ride. Slip, slip and slide. You can put it on your lawn. Turn the water on. Running and sliding headfirst into a slippery sheet of water is the perfect way to cool off on any summer day. If you're a kid, if anyone other than a child uses slip and slide, they risk slip sliding straight into a concussion. According to the CPSC, if a larger person were to use the various slip and slides produced before 1993, they risked serious injury. Instead of sliding, adults would just hit the ground hard and stay there, potentially compressing their spinal cords in the process. Between 1973 and 1991, at least seven adults and one teenager suffered severe injuries, including various forms of serious paralysis. And every year since then, that number has grown. Nobody wants to risk debilitating injuries from playing on a kid's toy, so Whammo wound up recalling over 9 million slides. Slip and slides are still a thing today, and even though they make it perfectly 100% clear that nobody over the age of 12 should use them, critical injuries still occur. It's just too hard to resist. Polly Pocket Of all the toys in the world that could harm your children, you'd think Polly Pocket would be on the bottom of the list. What could possibly go wrong? Plenty, as it turns out, if your kid liked to eat magnets. According to the CPSC, Polly Pocket playset sold between May 2003 and September 2006 were at risk of having the magnets inside the toys come loose. Those would then end up in noses, ears, and stomachs. But if a kid swallowed more than one magnet, they could actually attract each other inside the body, risking severe intestinal blockage, infection, or perforation. The CPSC mentioned around 170 cases of rogue magnets, which resulted in three cases of hospitalization. Mattel recalled millions of playsets, and since then, they've made efforts to keep all those tiny magnets in the toys, and not inside kids. Aquadots Whether you hate plastic or you're worried about lead in toy paint, it's worth being careful about chemicals in toys. But you probably don't worry about legit drugs in children's toys, because no one would do that, right? What can you dot, then spray, for fun that stays? Aquadot! In 2007, the makers of Aquadots, also known as Bindi's Beads, kinda, sorta, put drugs in toys. Scientists say a chemical in the toy becomes a powerful date-rape drug if it is swallowed. The small beads are used to make cool crafts with neat designs, but if you swallow the little candy-like orbs, you could go into a coma and possibly die. That's because the toys contained a chemical that the body can metabolize into GHB, a drug that causes amnesia and blackouts. Over 4 million of the toys were recalled, reformulated, and re-released without deadly chemicals. Because it's hard to make a happy toy commercial when you have to list side effects like comas and death. Clackers 
Whether people called them knockers, click clacks, clackers, or any other similar name, this toy was nothing more than two acrylic balls attached to a long piece of string. A new toy for the trendy technological age. Take the string in the middle, move your hand in an up and down motion, and you could produce a pretty satisfying banging sound that could drive your parents absolutely insane. Swinging small acrylic balls at high speed may not seem like a safe activity by itself, but the problems got worse when these balls reached their inevitable breaking point and slam into each other hard enough to shatter. When you expect a satisfying bang and instead are given splintered ball bits in your eyes, you might not be playing with the safest toy in the world. These little guys were made in the 1970s and didn't make it far into the following decade due to most parents' desire to keep shrapnel out of their kids' faces. Seems legit. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.